Today's the first of a series of um, inspections that we're conducting on the sites that are run by Glad Cleaning in the CBD in Melbourne. Um, we've had reports over the last few months that there's extensive use of subcontractors. People can be um, underpaid less than the award wage. Wages that they would be entitled to if they were direct employees of Glad are $4 an hour more than the awards. We can always hear people talking about it, but often people are afraid that they might have retribution um, taken against them if they speak up. Um, people are often willing to talk but not wanting to put their names to things and this is this is one way of the union being able to get evidence that we could use in a in a proceeding um, either in court or in the in the Fair Work Commission. Glad's unfortunately got a bit of a track record um, in the past with this kind of behaviour. Today we are inspecting the building looking for evidence of subcontractor activity. Uh, so with my colleague Alex we'll be looking at uh, maybe rosters, uh, paychecks, pay slips. We'll also be looking at the cleaning room, look at the cleaning equipment, maybe look at any safety breaches, really anything we can find and prevent the exploitation of the cleaners. I'm going to be liaising with the company and the client and working out any issues that we have with entering the premises. My name is Lina Martinez, I am an international student and I am a cleaner for 114 Williams Street and I work for GLAD. It's not easy, it's a really difficult job. Uh, we are getting paid $24.40, they are getting like $18 or $17 per, per hour and they are not get, getting any benefits and no job security at all. That made me feel very upset because some of my friends are working like that. It's not fair because we deserve to be treated as, as everybody else and we need respect. We want them to stop doing the subcontracting or at least we need them to to pay everybody the same the same thing. Doesn't matter if we are international or not. 